I often get asked how to determine the correct chain length when you're replacing the chain on your bike. To determine the correct chain length, you have to be able to accommodate all the possible gear combinations and still maintain proper chain tension with the use of your rear derailleur. The rear derailleur jockey wheels and springs allow your chain to remain properly tensioned in all the gear combinations. If your chain is too long, you won't be able to keep it tight enough it will be far too slack and will not shift properly or perform properly if there's too much slack in the chain. If your chain is too short, you will not be able to shift onto the large, large gear combination. One way to determine how long your new chain should be is to simply compare it against your old chain. Now that's assuming that your old chain was the correct length. Simply take your, your two chains, your new one and your old one, and compare the length against each other. Remember that your old chain has stretched, so go a little bit shorter on your new chain. In order to determine the proper chain length, wrap the uncut chain around the largest cog on the front and the largest cog on the back. Position the chain so that you can determine how many links have to be removed in order to accommodate a tight chain with this gear combination. Once you've determined how many links your chain should be shortened by, remove those links and assemble your chain and test the length of your chain. Shift onto the large, large gear combination and make sure that you can actually reach that gear combination by shifting. Shift onto the small, small combination and determine whether your rear derailleur overlaps itself. If it overlaps itself, it will not be able to maintain proper chain tension. So that means that your chain is still too long and you will have to shorten it again. If you have to shorten your chain again and it happens to be a Shimano chain, never remove a link pin. That's the special pin that you used to join your chain together. Always remove a fresh pin and replace it with a special link pin. Shimano chains require a special link pin. These link pins can be only inserted once into a chain link. By inserting it and removing it multiple times, it will damage the plates on your chain. So it's pretty straightforward in order to determine your chain length. Make sure again that your chain can shift into all the gear combinations and maintain proper tension. So go out there and have a great ride.